Dad was dispatched to Disney Springs and Vera Bradley because there happened to be a Little Mermaid collection dropping today, and that's the wife's favorite princess. I'm gonna do my best on pricing on these because Vera like hides them, but this is the Triple Zip Hipster, and it was $85. I don't have a price on this. I couldn't get it. It's a wallet. It's cute. I really do like the pattern that they have going on these. It's very pretty, but keep in mind, some of them have Ariel on them and some of them do not. Like, not in general, like she's not on that one, but like that pattern has no aerials on it at all. I'll show you a couple of those coming up. And this is, I believe, the Weekender Travel Bag. It was $140. This is the Campus Backpack for $130. I like the little dream on there. I believe this is the Medium Travel Duffel. Now this bag was not listed on their pricing sheet. It was $120 according to the lady. There's that awesome tote. I will show that again later. This shirt was 40 bucks and I really like the design on it. It's got a cool silhouette thing going on. Did you know that over 40% of you who are watching this video aren't subscribed? Why? If you're holding back, I have an idea. Dad is going to bribe you. This is a Hocus Pocus Loungefly wallet. It retails for over $50 and you could win it absolutely free. Be a subscriber, comment on videos. When we reach 6,000 subscribers, this is going to somebody. All right, no excuses. Back to the video. I think that was a pajama top before because these are labeled as pajama shorts and they are also $40. This was listed as a lotion bag. I do like the thingamabobs on there. Very nice. But 40 bucks for a plastic bag. Eh, I'd spend $5 more and get the shell cosmetic bag because that's what I need. These are breakaway lanyards and they are $25. And this is a zip ID bag. And it was 20 bucks, and then these were 25, and I have to say, not a fan of that embroidery. She looks weird in that. That's just not done well. I wasn't a fan of that at all. This pop grip looks nice. 20 bucks, I don't know. Do you use pop grips on your phones? I'm not, it interferes with my wireless charging. I'm not. This is an RFID clutch, trifold clutch. I like that Ariel's right there. Now this is one of those ones that the pattern, no matter where you look, you are not going to find Ariel on this pattern. It's an RFID all-in-one crossbody. This is listed as a miniature backpack, and I have to stress how miniature it is. It is smaller than your small lounge fly bags. This is an RFID travel passport wallet. Put your best fin forward. I like that. Here's another look at the medium travel duffel. This one does have Ariel on it, which is nice. And then right next to it is the other duffel, the Weekender. Mini travel accessory bag is what this is labeled as. No Ariel on it, just get flounder. And this is actually my favorite of all of them. The embroidery on this is perfect. She looks great. I like the stitching of the shells on there. That's a nice bag. These are listed as bag charms. I guess way too big to be a keychain. I guess you could use it as a keychain, but it's a bag charm. I guess that's a thing now. Picked up a pair of these for the wife. She was super excited to get some aerial flip-flops to wear to the beach and around resorts and stuff. Very excited about this. I think they're pretty cool looking too. 35 bucks is not a bad price for flip-flops thing. Crocs. Okay, these were $54 for adult and $34 for youth sizes. I'm going to be a socks and Crocs kind of person. They had socks for 15 bucks. I like them. The wife was super excited that all this stuff dropped at Vera Bradley at Disney Springs today, March 15th. And that is the Vera Bradley Little Mermaid Collection. The wife's favorite princess, so I had to go in there. Dad may stand in extremely long lines to buy things for his wife, but one thing dad doesn't do is an outro. So that's it. Bye.